Locations that are in your area, uh, we'll see the list here. And, and that runs quicker on the phone. Uh, it is much, the emulator is slow. much much faster on the phone. So we have our list of locations uh, that we returned here. Uh, we can select a location, and it will load a list of sections of information that we can view. Um, I'll show the article view and stuff on the phone because I can demo the rest oh, of the stuff on the phone. Right. Um, the next thing that we want to do is search, so we'll push search, uh, we just get a blank box here, we can type in, pull this back, put in uh, a location, uh, entering it off the keyboard here, double if I can type, thing on my hand, and I can't, um, Fail. yeah, major. I can't type on this thing. So if we put in Paris and submit, it will go and search for information. And you can put any Paris. landmark in, any building, statue, anything you'd like to think about. And you'll see that we have the same view we had on the computer for West Virginia University article. So if we pick a section, um, we'll load up and we'll get an article view of the information of that specific section, uh, we're able to scroll around and look at and read the entire article. By pressing the menu button on the phone, we get our menu, which allows us to create notes, voice recordings, or use text-to-speech. Uh, I'm going to go to notes as an example. Voice recordings works very much in the same way. Um, we have no notes for this location because it's a new location, so we add a note and we're able to put a title and a body for our note. Um, I'm going to do that because I don't have to type on this thing again. Um, and that was the search in the article view. Now if we come back and go to history, this will be a list of all the locations that we've viewed on the application. As you can see, the last um, article that we viewed was Paris, so it's at the top of the list. Uh, if we hold down on one of these locations, we'll get a context menu, which gives us access to any notes and voice recordings we may have saved for the location. Um, if you go to notes, you'll see there is a note for this particular one that we can click up and, and read. Uh, you can also edit it. Uh, again, voice recordings will work the same way as notes. Uh, if we go to itinerary, the goal of itinerary is to allow the user to plan a trip. Um, so we have some preset ones here that we've done with locations in different areas. Uh, if we view the Washington DC one, you'll see the locations that we've inserted. Um, clicking any of these locations will take us back to the information on that location. If we press the menu button, we can add or remove locations from the list. And we can also map the itinerary. If we go to add a location, we input the name of the place and also its general area. Uh, and then it will search and make sure that it can find that location and add it to our list. If we go back to the list and map the itinerary, assuming that it loads, um, it should give us a map. It will tell us there is one location from that list that it did not plot and it tells us what it is. And then you can see the flags, which it did plot, are the locations. Uh, we can zoom in or out of the map to make the view a little better as we need it. If we touch one of the flags, it will pop up and show us the name of that particular location. So, uh, uh, from our home screen, you can also press the menu button 
we can get to an about page which just has some information about us as developers of the app and what the project is to be. Uh, we can also go to settings. Uh, here we allow the user to change the radius size for the locate me. So if you were in a very large city you would want to make the radius smaller to get less results. If you were in a uh, more rural area, you may need to increase the radius size to get the results that you're looking for. We also give the user some storage options as to whether or not they want to save information onto their SD card, the phone's internal memory. Uh, as far as the major features of our phone, that about okay. covers it. So, uh, what kind of connection of this cell phone you use to grab this location information? Uh, this particular phone right now is just working off a of Wi-Fi connection. We do not have with this phone a SIM card or a GPS card to get uh, in the information that way. So right now we're just working off the of wireless. Here. So once I have the wireless, I can grab the, all the information. Right? All you need is internet. Okay. You just have a data provider or wireless, either one. As long as you have internet, of some form. It'll work. Okay. Very nice work. Thank you guys.